Hey, how's it going? Big Gumbo here. Today I'm going to do a what sold video for you. Just so to show you some of the better items that have sold between the last time I did a what sold video and today. So I guess like a month. These are just some of the better ones or just ones that I thought were interesting. And I'm, you can see I got a lot of tabs open here. Let's begin. What do we got? We got a Twillery shirt. Twillery, good brand. I think um, Thrift Alive mentioned this one on his Smart Cash video. Um, yeah, they. he said it was an outdoor brand, but I've only ever found button-up shirts that are kind of nicer. I would almost call them like, um, not dress shirts. They're made out of kind of stretchy material. Anyways, Twillery, good. I think the sell-through rate on Twillery is pretty high. Twillery... Um, four hundred ninety-seven listed. Four hundred sixty-two sold. But that particular shirt that I grabbed there, I think it was a size XL, had over hundred sell, hundred percent sell through rate. But overall, the whole brand is close to hundred percent. Here's Jane Barnes. I don't think Jane Barnes is 100% sell-through rate, but this is a great brand of shirt to grab in my experience, especially if it has like a cool pattern. As you can see, this one has like a weird, I don't even know what you'd call that. Maybe I can get a closer pick. I don't even know. I think it was made, this one was made in like Japan too. Let's see, oh, Hong Kong. But the fabric was made in Japan. Anyways, Jane Barnes shirts, especially if they have crazy loud patterns. Um, you can list them for like over 30 bucks if they're really cool, but I usually, if they're not that cool, I list them for like high 20s. Jane Barnes. I don't think it's 100% sell through though. Uh, Travis Matthew, if they have cool prints, I only pick them up now if they have cool prints. This one had this like all over cactus print. Or if they have like a. Uh, Famous golf course on them. I don't think this place is famous. Pacific Dunes. It's kind of dangerous typing the letter P up here into my search bar. Pacific Dunes. What I do is I type in cost. How much does it cost? So it is an expensive course. So that might have helped sell that shirt. One of the ones that I listed the other day, it cost $100,000 to be a member of the course. So I priced that one higher and it sold fast. Excuse me. This episode is brought to you by Bang Energy. Um, vintage Billabong, Vintage Quicksilver, Vintage all of the surf brands and skate brands motocross brands all the like extreme sports brands really good but vintage board shorts are actually good i should have priced these higher actually they're made in usa or they might have been made in hong kong but there just wasn't a lot of sales history there's not a lot of vintage board shorts sold but i know for a fact that they're good because like these sold in a day every single time i list them they sell super fast and i needed to actually price them higher um, but yeah, vintage board shorts, really good. And usually they're either gonna be made out of cotton or 100% nylon that's like really thick. I put this here, I guess, just because denim shirts are really good. I love selling denim shirts, they sell super fast. All of the brands, even lower brands, if it's a denim shirt, like L.O. Bean isn't really lower, it's kind of mid, but yeah, denim shirts. I got a lot here, so I just kind of got to rifle through them. Um, this is called a rash guard. It's a, uh, I don't know anything about fighting or anything, but this is a jujitsu rash guard. I found like 20 of these in the thrift the other day, and they're all super good. This company is called Phalanx. Phalanx. Um, and I sold most of these super fast. I listed them all at like 45 and sold them at like 35 and up. Really good. Um, so every time you find a rash guard, look it up. They look cheap, 
and they feel kind of cheap, but they're good. Chrome Industries, this actually took a while to sell, but I got a decent price for it. I think this brand used to be higher sell-through rate. I haven't really heard a lot from them lately. Let's see. Oh, I guess they're more of a bag brand, maybe. Because that's what comes up first. Chrome Industries. See, when I type in Chrome Industries, bag comes up first. So maybe they're more known for their bags. I thought they were more kind of like Dixon where it was flannels, but maybe not. Uh, 203 listed. Let's do shirt. Eighteen listed, twenty-two sold, over a hundred percent sell through. There's mine. I should have another one here. Let's see. There's another one of mine. Yeah, so over a hundred percent sell through. Rate. I guess kind of a low volume, so that could be why it took a little longer. Grayson, good golf brand, has a high sell through. If it's got a print like this, it'll sell quicker. What else? Boy Scout stuff is still amazing. This one was new with tags, fortunately, and vintage. <laughs> Bless me. Um, and uh, sold super fast for, so if it ends in 88, that means they use my 20% off coupon. Just know that. Um, so probably like, 36 bucks it probably sold for yeah but even the not vintage ones and not new ones I still price them like over 30 if they're in tip-top shape outer known is fire this shirt is called a Gayabara shirt so it's got pockets here on the front pockets here on the top kind of like a camp shirt but with extra pockets um, almost looks like a field jacket, but with short sleeves. Uh, and I couldn't find any of these listed or sold from Outer Known. So I just priced it at 45, which is kind of high for Outer Known shirts, but boom, sold. Sold super fast too, same day. A lot of these good items sold super fast. Um, this sold super fast. These True Spec is not a good brand of pants, so don't just go picking up True Spec pants. Um, but these are, as you can see, they're Tiger Stripe camo, which is a very desirable camo pattern. It's kind of a keyword for camo you can use, but it's also a trademarked brand of camo. Um, Tiger Stripe camo pants. So it's not the brand of the pants, it's the brand of the camo. So for Tiger Stripe camo pants, I don't know if it's 100% sell through, I, I bet it is. 136 uh, listed used, 168 sold used. So over 100% sell through rate. Any brand of pants you find that has Tiger Stripe camo, there's another one I sold. Um, I found two of those actually, right next to each other. Boom, boom. But true spec, not that great. But tiger stripe camo, good. Uh, any alpaca wool sweater, this one is a nothing brand with like no sales history. And it sold pretty darn quick. Um, if it's a brand that's good, you can price it higher. Usually they're made in Peru. But yeah. Alpaca wool, good. And usually it's got like hair and fuzz all over it. But it's fine. A viewer actually told me about this brand. I got some real cool viewers. I like to call them friends. Um, hit me up on Instagram. Give me cool bolos. And I'll give you some good bolos back if you give me. But if you're going to hit me up on Instagram at Big Yumbo and give me bolos, they got to be high sell through rate or really high prices. I've had some, some people try to give me some bolos and they're like, check out this brand. And then I look it up and it's not good. But, um, yeah, so that, double check the sell through rate before you be telling me something's good because I don't want my mind getting all clouded up. Oh, but anyways, that brand, uh, 66 degrees north is a high sell through. Yeah, it's, you're not, right after the guy told me about it, I found one. So it's out there. Um, not a lot listed or sold, but high sell through, decent prices. 
pretty much any vintage sweatshirt with a uh, university on it, good. If it's an Ivy League one, also good, probably better. I mean, don't get too excited because I had this one, uh, I don't remember, maybe it was like Princeton or something, listed for like 65 and it's been up there for like a year. But if you price them reasonably, like 30 to $40, dollars it should sell pretty quick. This brand is kind of new to me. I don't believe it's 100% sell through rate, but I list it in the high 30s every time, and it sells for over 30 every time. Uh, it's called Penfield. Now this one I learned after the fact. This type of camo is called frog skin camo. If I could go back in time, I would use that keyword. Um, it's a, a vintage, vintage camo print that they used to do. It's called frog skin because it looks like a frog skin. Um, I bet you frog skin camo has a good sell through. Frog skin camo shirt. 48 listed. 42 sold. So you got to know your camos. That's a good sell through. So anytime you find something frog skin camo, I think I have another listing I did. Let's see. Because I just learned this like two days ago. Let's look for me. Uh, where's me? Where's me? Is that me? No. Maybe jacket? It was a jacket. No, it was. Yeah, it was a jacket. Sorry, this is uh, wasting valuable time. Am I not coming up? Did I do one word? Ooh, this is an issue. Why would I do one word? Houston, we have a problem. Uh, where's my jacket? Oh, okay. There's mine. Why am I not showing up in the search? See, that's what the camo looks like. All right, I'm gonna leave those tabs up and try to figure that out. I don't see you. Is that me? No. Okay, weird. Oh, is it because I put shirt and jacket? Okay, that's why. There I am. Woo. Okay. That scared me. Uh, my girlfriend found these the other day. I found several items from this collaboration, and it's really good. These are also good because they're corduroy shorts, which are just good. Uh, but this is the Billabong Wrangler collab. And it sells quick and for decent money, $39.88. Keep your eyes peeled for that. Keep your eyes peeled for corduroy shorts, especially from like surf brands like Quicksilver and Billabong, Vans, whatever. This brand of Pearl Snap Western shirt is really good. Sorry, I had to double check I was recording there. Um, this one had like terrible stains on it. Could have gotten more for this because this is one of their silk shirts. But Ryan Michael, I look up so many uh, Western shirts and most of them suck. Excuse me. Um, this one was really good. I've sold this one a couple times, but the silk ones are better. And women's sells too. And I, it's pretty high sell through, I'm pretty sure. I'm picking up a lot of just random military stuff. Um, because there's an Air Force base here, Nellis Air Force Base, and there's like a ton of military stuff here. So I've been just kind of picking it up. Um, if it's not your basic average thing and uh, flipping it. Um, one good bolo that I learned recently from another viewer is this one. It, right after they told me it, I found one. So if you do that for me, I love you. Extreme weather. This guy here, uh, these have over 100% sell through in like every size. It's called the um, 
Parka extreme cold weather. So like on the tag, this is what's cool about them. It'll say exactly what it is and you can just look that up. And then you just keyword it up with like, this one had an army patch on it. Um, it also is Prima Loft. Weird thing happened when I listed this though. It said like, warning, this cannot ship out of the United States. And I've listed a bunch of military stuff and this is the first one that's ever said that. So I had to make a new shipping policy that had all of the other countries um, blocked. But yeah, I'm confident that this one should sell for around 100 bucks. I paid $30 for it at the Goodwill, which is insane. But um, yeah, I'm pretty confident that it's gonna sell. Extreme cold weather parka. That's me again, that's me again. Let's see, we already did that. We did that, I need to start closing these tabs out better. Did that, I'm sorry guys. I have so many tabs, I'm gonna bust through some quick ones here. Quicksilver. Love Quicksilver. If you find unique things, tag them up with surf. Always put surf in the title, that helps. Like you could picture some cool surfer wearing this after he surfs. Um, yeah. <laughs> Here's the go to Masters Tech polos if they're green. They're like, most of the time, only worth picking up. Well, you can pick them up if they're not green, but you can't price them at thirty-eight eighty-eight if they're not green. This one has the uh, Augusta International logo, I guess. I think that's where they do the, ma the Masters tournament at Augusta Golf Course. I'm pretty sure. I haven't really paid attention to golf in a long time, and I kind of forgot my info. Here's another... Rash card, this one has a cool uh, snake dragon on it. Priced it at 38.88 because this one did not have a lot of sales history. It sold damn near instantly. Probably could have priced it higher. What else we got here? Leather pants. Wilson's leather pants, men's or women's. Um, they're great. The men's ones are way better. You can price the men's ones at like 50 bucks. The women's ones weren't as good, but I pick them up like every time I see them. Levi's if they're interesting or if they're like one of the um, styles that I have locked in here. Um, these ones are green corduroy and they're premiums. Um, some people put big E in the title for premiums. I think that's almost like false advertising because you want the big E search to be for the vintage stuff. These aren't vintage, but uh, you don't need big E in the title to sell these because all these new Levi's premiums have big E. And all these people in like the reseller Nirvana group and in the Levi's denim research group are like, I can't believe I found this. And it's like, dude, that's not even anything. That's not vintage. Pretty sure they sell these at Kohl's. Anyways, Levi's premiums are pretty good. Interesting Levi's premiums are better. Crew, this is a brand of skate jeans that was, um, Probably produced from like 2005 to 2010. Um, famous skateboarder Andrew Reynolds, uh, Eric Ellington, all the people on the beloved skate team Baker, um, everybody on Baker 3, which is a famous skate video, which actually sells for good money, or it used to, um, wore these jeans, and every teenager in the mid 2000s wore these jeans. And right now, the best skate jeans are polar jeans. Uh, skates. I'm just gonna put polar jeans. And I was just talking to someone on Instagram, telling them that this was a good, good one. Um, one of the problems here is like a lot of people will tag their baggy pants with polar, but for that search, polar jeans, uh, 158 listed. Seventy-eight sold, but the popular one is the Polar Big Boys. There's also, I think, Polar Ninety Threes. So fifty-eight or fifty-three listed for Polar Big Boys, or sorry, fifty-three sold, thirty-two sold used. Let's see how many are listed. Thirteen listed, so it's almost a three hundred percent sell rate for Polar Big Boys. And I swear, every single teenage skateboarder has these jeans. Um, there's like a little guy on the pocket 
This guy is how you can recognize them in the thrift if you did ever see them. They're good. They sell for like a hundred bucks, and they sell they sell new for like a hundred and fifty. So, or maybe even less. So you could sell them used almost as much as you can sell them new. I don't even know why this on here. These are just some Air Jordan joggers. They were in a size three XL, which had over a hundred percent sell through rate. I guess that's why I put it there. James Purse, everyone's talking about James Purse right now. There's your tag. So I don't really need to talk about that. Marine Layer, everyone's talking about Marine Layer. It's actually not as good as it was like six months ago, but these shorts had over 100% sell through. They had some stains as well. Still sold for probably like 28 or 30 bucks on an offer. I might have shown this in my last video. I've sold three of these shirts now. Positano. Um, that's the logo right there. There's a bunch of... Because I'm in Las Vegas, which is like a party town. I found lots of these like vintage 90s kind of like rave shirts. Some of them are good. YMLA. YMLA is good if you find them. Positano is good. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of other good ones. But they're going to be like made out of 100% polyester, be stretchy, kind of shiny, with like a wide kind of disco looking collar. You can tag them up with Disco Rave 90s Club Stretch USA, like I did. 32 Bar Blues. Not that many people talk about this one, but this is a really good brand with a good sell through. 32 Bar, bar Blues shirt. Let's see, used, we have 200. Here's something I noticed. Usually used has a better sell through than uh, new. So new is 115 listed, used is 299 listed. Let's see. Yeah, so new sold is 46 sold. So it's like a 50% sell through rate. Uh, used is 225. So like a 60 or 70% sell through rate. Yeah, so I think it's because people who list their new items price them at like retail. So nobody's buying them because that's not what people go to eBay for. But yeah, decent sell through rate. I guess it used to be better, but I usually price them around 30 bucks and they flip pretty quick. Yeah, so like 28.95. This guy got it for 44.95, but sold it for 35. There's me. Is there another me somewhere? I bet there's another me. Uh, should be another me. There's another me on one of those pages. But yeah, that brand's good. I'd grab it. If I were you, Polar Ruffler in with interesting, cool patterns and prints is definitely worth picking up, especially if it's vintage like this one. And it's made of it out of 100% rayon with a cool floral print. That's why I grabbed that and sold that pretty quick. Same goes for Wrangler. If you find the pearl snaps with cool patterns, this one was a size small, so I kind of priced it a little cheaper. If this was like a size XL, I would have priced it at like 50 bucks. Maybe higher, because it's a cool current. Uh, Buttercloth. This is a good one. Um, similar to Twillery, but this is like even more performance and stretchy than Twillery. It's going to be super duper soft. Good sell through rate on butter cloth. Let's see. Two sixty six listed. Two eighty two sold. So over a hundred percent. Yeah, good prices. Size smalls don't do as well, but yeah, butter cloth. It's great. What else we got here? Another rash guard. Just I just find I just pick up like damn near every brand I find and they're good. Um, there are crappy brands though, because like a lot of little new, uh, I guess jujitsu gyms you would call them like print their own and those aren't very good. But the ones that are like actual brands are good. Here's a vintage. I'm pretty sure No Fear is technically like a motocross brand. Uh, yeah, listed this one for thirty five eighty eight. Sold twenty percent off. Super duper fast. 
I thought this one might not do as well because it has like no graphic on it and it's a Henley which isn't really it's more of like a fancy guy style but no this one sold super fast Henleys are generally good but not for like cool stuff Peter Millar this is the golf course I looked up that um, costs a hundred thousand dollars a year it's called Whisper Oak Whisper Rock, sorry. And this is on a Crown Crafted shirt, which is already pretty good. Like It's like a $25 to $30 shirt. Uh, yeah, but I looked up sold comps on this, and $35 was like what they go for. <sighs> okay, what else? we got a lot here. Here's another vintage Quicksilver shirt. This was a really cool one. I'm kind of sad to see it go. It was made out of like an actual like blanket, like kind of like a Mexican blanket, but soft. Because the Mexican blankets are kind of scratchy. This was soft. Should have priced it at 45. If it was made in USA, I would have priced it at 45, but it wasn't. It was made in like Bangladesh or India or something. Yeah. Here's a vintage Billabong shirt. Single stitch. Really cool. 33.88. 20% off. Actually, no, an offer. So probably like 25 bucks. I mean, it's not huge money for a lot of it, unless it's like really cool. Here's a new one I just found the other day. It's called 10,000. I couldn't find the brand anywhere on it in the store, but then boom, there it was. Looked it up, it's good. High sell through rate, not crazy prices, like 25 to 35 bucks. Um, on the inside of the leg is where you're gonna find, not in like the back, like it's on the bottom, like by the leg opening. It's where you're gonna find all the info. And then I went back to this thrift like five days later and found two more pairs yesterday. So I'm pretty happy about that. Sold super fast. Probably price it a little higher this next time that I list it. Johnny O is all right. It's not as good as it used to be, but if you can find it with cool prints like this, you could price it up towards like 30 bucks. Anything interesting, Maybe outerwear might be good. Also good sizes. Most of it's like not even $20 anymore. Here's another denim shirt. A denim pearl snap shirt actually. And this one's, uh, what do we got, Levi's here? Yeah. Every time I find one of these, I list it at about 30 bucks unless there's something wrong with it. If it's vintage, obviously, I'd price it higher. Or if it was more like heavy, um, like stiff and starchy, I'd probably price it higher. Like more of like a work shirt. This guy, there's really not much to say about it. Probably shouldn't have added it because I don't know much about sports. Florida State? Florida State, yeah. Vintage Nike shirt, yeah. Pick up all the vintage Nike. It's not all worth, I mean, there's vintage, like a basic single stitch, like, um, not, a, not a single stitch, one of the um, little like center check shirts that says Nike. Double stitch, but from like the late nineties, will sell for like fifteen bucks or twenty bucks maybe. And those are the ones you'll find all the time. Uh, Ariat jeans, still real good. He's probably sold in a day or two. Listed on June third. It's June sixth right now, so within three days. These are FR ones. Ariat FR is good. Even the shirts. I think I listed one for like forty-five bucks the other day. Um, the area regular button-up shirts that you find all the time aren't quite as good, but the fire resistant or flame res resistant ones are still really good Grayson really good uh, Probably sold this one for like 35 bucks Not as good as I thought it was gonna be for a pullover the polos do just about as good as the pullovers Maybe I could have got more or whatever Grayson with an E uh, REI pants. I don't pick up 99% of REI stuff. I pick up 75% of REI co-op stuff. But these are uh, REI Elements pants. You'll see an Elements logo there. Boom. When you find those, it's an easy like 40 bucks, 35, 40 bucks. It's just their uh, water resistant line. Or maybe waterproof. New brand to me that I found the other day. 
Look up all the double knees you find. Um, these ones were pretty good. Not a huge like sales history on them. I actually priced them a little higher than the competition because there were so few uh, listed. For pants, if there's like not that many listed, if nobody else has your exact size listed, you can kind of control the price on it. You still got to base it on, you know, solds, but you can go up a little bit. These are called wild ass jeans. That's what the logo looks like. And everyone did it as one word, which I'm guessing, because like if you accidentally misspell shirt, which I do all the time, and put shit, eBay will say, you cannot list this item, blah, 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 because it says shit, which is crazy. Um, Ash and Erie, they specialize in men's button-up shirts that are shorter length. They make clothes for shorter men, um, which is why these probably measure 33, 29. Threw them up for 45. They probably sold for like 36, um, relatively quick. Good sell through. What else we got? Outdoor research. Um, yeah, these are the Ferrosi pants, which I found several times, and they're really good. I just listed one the other day for I think higher. Ferrosi? Did I spell it right? Let's see, zero listed. I guess I did 45 in that one as well. Oh, there's another one, okay. Those pants, list them for 45 bucks, I guess, is the, uh, sell them for 35. Outdoor research is kinda hit or miss, though. Pretty much damn near all the new Levi's I pick up. These are 527s, which are extra good right now. Um, they're boot cut, low rise. Yeah, flipped them for whatever. 20% off of 48.88. 527, good. You, every, just go to the, go to the uh, thrift store and look up every pair of Levi's with the size. And that will give you some highly, highly valuable info going forward because every single thrift store has Levi's in them. Here, every single thrift store has vintage Levi's in them, which is extra cool. Um, but yeah, here's some vintage uh, Levi's silver tap baggies, which are an extra, extra cool uh, line of Levi's, 3832, which is a big size. Still flip them for 20% off of 75.88. What I noticed about the like the silver tap baggies and the um, anchor blue baggies is the bigger sizes do good. And the smaller sizes do good. Like usually for jeans, the bigger sizes suck. But because these are supposed to be baggy, the kids buy like even extra big ones. So they're extra baggy. And then they just cinch them up at the waist. See, it doesn't even really matter the size on silver tab baggies or anchor blue baggies. They're just all good. Here's another, uh, it might be the same one. Fudge all Raven, real good. These are in horrible condition. Not horrible, just not good. Um, flipped them for probably 55, 60 maybe. Fjall Raven. And everything from them is pretty good in the men's department. Their pants are like the best. Jackets are like the best. Outerwear, more substantial things are really good. Dixon shirts, um, grab all of them, but make sure you look up exactly the style because the style there, like this one's the corpse or core. Um, will determine the exact price. These are kind of like collector shirts, so their prices are pretty set in stone. You can price them a little higher in the market though because they're such high sell through, which is what I do. Because I have a coupon and they're so high sell through, I price them at the top of the market. And the coupon brings them down to the mid or bottom of the market and they flip super fast. G4, this is my first G4. Pretty excited about it. Got it for $2.50. This one had uh, little skulls all over it. I guess I priced it at $69.88 and I, it sold for $60. I remember that because I just told someone that the other day. It even had a little stain on it. And sometimes people send me offers that, even though I have a 20% off coupon, actually it happens every single day, it's not even a sometimes thing. People don't see it because it's at the top of the listing and it just looks like garbage. 
or they just are bad at math and they send me like a 10% off offer or whatever, which is they, they're paying more than they would if they just used the coupon. Let's see what else. Here's another good one. 511 Tactical Kilt. Uh, kilts are good. 511 Tactical Kilts are also good. I, I, I wonder what the sell through is on just like men's kilt. Maybe there's a shitload of the, like third party or what do you call these? Uh, white label ones. We don't want those. So I'll just do pre owned. There's 207 listed pre owned. Pre owned sold 252. So just the word kilt pre owned over 100% sell through rate. So it damn near doesn't matter what brand it is or what type. Look at this one sold for 99 bucks. Utila kilts. Yeah, and those cargo ones with like rip stop and a tactical kilt, those are the best ones. Um, I think I picked this one up in a thrift haul. I think you might have seen this one. The company's called Circolo. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that, so we're just going to go to the next one. <laughs> it's sold for decent money. Uh, this is a good one. ASOS. It's made in Switzerland. They make cycling stuff. Now, this one, I actually got confused for about a year and a half because when I first started doing clothing, I sold an ASOS cycling jacket or a cycling um, jersey for like 35 bucks, super fast. And then I started finding all this ASOS stuff in the thrift, but there's two ASOS. There's ASOS with three S's like this one, and then there's an ASOS with two S's. Um, ASOS with two S's is great. They make cycling stuff that sells for tons of money. Right? ASOS with one S is not great. It's like a fast fashion brand that sells dresses for $3 with a terrible sell through. Let's see. 94,000 listed total. Um. No, I'll just look at pre-owned. 49,000 listed pre-owned. 8,000 sold. It's like a 20%. But ASOS with two S's, or three S's. Let's see, pre-owned, 498 listed. Or no, 498 sold. It's probably so annoying for you. Oh, it's not 100%. That's kind of sad. 2,000 listens. It's only like a 25% sell through it. So I guess don't listen to me on this one. But ASOS, let's look up ASOS jacket. So ASOS jacket, 136 listed. Fifty-eight sold. Oh, I guess. Don't listen to me, but the prices are good, and that sold super fast. Let's see when I listed it. Yeah, I listed it June first. It's currently June sixth, so sixty-five, twenty percent off of sixty-five, like what fifty bucks? Well, I would still pick it up, regardless of the sell-through. Maybe price it lower. You've got a lot of margin there because it goes for so much, but. Okay, I guess ASOS is not as good as I thought. But the prices are good. Whatever. Okay, that's why I look up sell throughs. You'll learn. Um, not a lot of other resellers are doing that here on YouTube. You know, they just say it's good. Um, someone in the comments might say, no, that actually sucks. They're just going to ignore your comment. Okay. Um, vintage Panhandle Slim. Panhandle Slim generally sucks. I'm gonna do that again, panhandle. Let's see if it does actually suck. I think it sucks. Um, do, do, do. 7,899 listed, pre-owned. 7,899. Listed, pre-owned. Uh, this is so hard. They need to make like a shortcut for this. 2,146. So less than 50%. Prices vary. If it's some plain Jane shirt, Good luck. Like this guy. There's a billion of these here in Las Vegas. And I pass over all of them. 
if it has an insanely cool print like this, price it way at the top like I did. This is like the top for Panhandle Slim shirts. And this sold May 29th, it's June 6th, so within a week. And it's a small size. Or no, that's like an XL. Anyways, the crappy Western wear brands, and people are gonna tell me, no, Panhandle Slim is great, I sell it all the time. It's not, I checked it, it's less than 50%. It's not great, very good. They uh, harassed me one time and told me to stop selling them, but then I just went back to selling them anyways. They didn't give me a Vero, so you should have given me a Vero if you wanted me to stop. I haven't gotten a Vero in like over a year, so I could probably get a couple of them and it's gonna be fine. Wings and Horns. Nothing New Thrift showed this on his uh, Instagram a couple days ago, and then boom, I found one in the bins. I've been going to the bins, beep beep, I uh, ship, go to the bins, and then I hit like seven thrift stores every day because I'm trying to raise my average uh, sale price because that's what they just keep talking about over and over again on the uh, in the uh, Daily Nirvana group or whatever, and it just kind of gets in there. It's actually great advice. I've been selling less items, but I've been uh, making more money. So, but my store is growing, and my store can only support about a thousand more items. So there's kind of a balance there. Built is great. The shirts, the basic t-shirts, you can't really get more than 20 bucks for them nowadays, but their pants, their sweatshirts, anything interesting, a Henley, uh, great. Paul Smith jeans. I saw these in the thrift because they were selvage. And you can usually tell a pair of selvage jeans before you even see that just by feeling the material. It's going to be stiffer. It's going to feel like almost coated in something. Um, these aren't the most amazing brand in the world, though. Probably flipped them for like 40 bucks. But they're damn near almost always worth picking up. I've sold a pair of like um, Zara selvage jeans one time for like 30, 40 bucks. Cause like all the companies are making them now because they're trendy. And it's probably fake selvage, but whatever. Uh, 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu. All the, all the bros know what this is. Um, Joe Rogan's buddy, uh, what's his name? Eddie Bravo, this is like his company. Um, and I'm pretty sure they have a location here in Las Vegas. And Las Vegas is like the home of mixed martial arts. So, because this is where the UFC is. So that's why there's a bunch of stuff here. Uh, list of these 5588. Actually, not a huge sold history on these. Um, but yeah, they do great. Outer Known is great. Uh, try to look up the, they don't have the style on them, but if you Google like exactly what you have, usually you can find it. And if you have the style, like this one is the Rambler Overshirt, you can ask for money. Just like any modern brand, if you know the style and they're still selling that style, you can get more money. So 20% off of 58, 5588. Sorry, I've got the burps. Uh, rugby stuff, great. This one is made by Canterbury, which is generally a good brand. Anytime you see this logo on like um, a shirt, look up what the graphic on the shirt is or what the jersey. It could be good. They make it in New Zealand. Yeah, I don't know. Any this took me like 30 minutes to figure out what this was, so I earned this 55 bucks or 20% off of 55. It took a while to sell, but I figured it out. It is the Auckland Rugby Union. Yeah. And there's not a ton of rugby stuff being sold in the United States. It's usually if you look up what's, and you can kind of raise your price based on this. Like if you find something and everyone that's selling it is in like Canada, so their prices, their shipping price is like $20, you can add that $20 shipping price into your, um, what your asking price is and still be competitive on the pricing which is cool when you find like out of the international brands, I should say. Um, Anchor Blue Baggies, great. 
find a decent amount of these here. People don't pick them up in the thrift, too. It's cool. Uh, Marie Francois Gerbaud. Great. It's a um, kind of a vintage, like, 90s company. You find a lot of jeans. Sometimes you'll find, like, button-ups. T-shirts. It's all good. Like a button-up, you price it, like, 35. Let's see what I price it out. Gerbaud. Nice spell right? I priced that at twenty eight eighty eight. It's just a basic button up shirt. Outlier. I found this blazer like three months ago, and it just been hanging in my closet because like the the wrist opening cuff was coming unstitched. Finally, it took me like an hour. I stitched it back up myself and listed it for 200. There are ones listed for like $350, but this guy is like an expert. Let's see, where is this guy? I'm gonna type an outlier blazer. This store is like amazing. I found this store, this guy. This guy has more listed than he has sold in his store for outlier blazers. And he has them listed at like $399, which is insane to not have way over 100% sell through rate for Outlier because it's so damn good. I sold an extra small shirt in a day for $60. Um, so that told me immediately, wow, his price is way too high. So I priced mine at 200 also because mine wasn't in great condition. But this guy's store is crazy. Primo offers. Let's see. He only does like blazers and like kind of fancy clothes. I stock the hell out of uh, other stores. Let's see. How many does he have listed? He has 889 listed. And I'm pretty sure it's a good sell through. Maybe it's not that great. Let's see. Good sell through. Not 100%, but his prices that he gets for this stuff are insane. I mean, I probably make more money than him because I have 2,500 sold in the last three months. But if this guy could like find more stuff and sell more stuff, he'd be literally rich. Like his prices are almost all over $100. Or not, not all over $100, but they're all high, you know? And he takes the time and he does all this junk, but he gets way more money than like a Tasso Elba jacket? Like, Tasso Elba sucks. I guess it's new with tags. Anyways. Oops, I closed the tab. I hope it wasn't a good one. I think you might have seen me pull this on, like, a pulling orders video. I think I sold this for, like, $75, I want to say. Um, but John Varvatos, their button-ups suck. But this one, new with tags with this, like, stain crap all over it. I guess really good. John Barbados, there are certain things that are really good. Let's sort. We want pre owned. And we want sold. Why is sold? And we want highest first. Look, 2000 bucks for a leather jacket. The boots, crazy. I guess jackets and boots are the number one thing. $700 for a pair of pants. Wow, used. Their jeans are okay. Like their jeans are like a $40 thing. I'm sure there's styles of their jeans that are really good, but I picked up two pairs yesterday. Is that the Dylan jacket? No. I know they have one called the Dylan jacket that's good. So leather jackets, I guess they're kind of a leather company. There's all their leather stuff. Let's go to, I want their stuff that I'll probably actually find. So let's do 35 to 75. Wow. I guess it's a collab of Converse. Let's get, let's minus boots there's too many damn boots here that's a tip you can do if you hit minus all the boots will disappear oh now we're seeing all shoes 
Can I do minus minus? Oh, well, they didn't put shoes in the title. Wow, they sold shoes without even put shoes in the title. That's crazy. Jesus. Minus Chuck. Oh my God. Minus Converse. And there's still some there. It's insane. Okay. So this is what you're looking for in the thrift, this stuff. Pants. I guess there's some jeans that went for 62. Oh, I know their t-shirts with bands on them are really good. Varvatos band sh shirt. Oops. Oh no, that's gonna bring a band collar shirts. A Beatles shirt, 66. Def Leppard, 50 bucks. Pink Floyd, 50 bucks. Marilyn Manson, 62.99. Another one that does good with the shirts is, shit, what's the brand? What's the brand? Whatever, I'm over this. Or Not, Or Not is a cycling company. This is a pair of bib shorts. This is the bib. These are the shorts. Um, these sold for probably like 75 bucks. Yep, look up all the bib shorts you find. There's a ton of like no-name brands that suck, but that's a good one there. This is a Peter Millar like golf pullover, but it sold great because it has the Barstool Sports uh, logo there. Pretty much all the Barstool Sports merch merch is uh, pretty darn good to sell. Same with like Full Send. Lots of merch from like uh, content companies can be good. You already know this would have been good. I don't even need to put this in the video. It's a Carhartt vest with camo on it. A vintage polo sport sweater. Um, anything interesting? Ralph Lauren, look it up. This was kind of interesting. I think I found this in the bins. Made in Canada. So we know it's vintage. But yeah, 75 bucks or 20% off of 75 and I'm pretty sure I priced it kind of higher than the other ones. Uh, Levi's 560s vintage. Those are new with tags. This doesn't even really need to be in the video. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching.